My name is Jason Lillibo and I own a thousand trees on La Croix Plantations. I've known David since back in college. I think it was maybe me seeing something about this plantation on Facebook and calling him up and talking to him about it. I think when you come here and see what he's done, taking a property and, and turning it into a plantation and all the home sites and, and all the development he's done is pretty amazing overall. It's just, you know, it takes a, a special kind of person to be able to actually do that and not just imagine it, but to actually make it happen. This is plantation three. The post of mine is actually back there. But this right here is my first actual tree and then the next thousand going up and down the rows until it hits that number, so. I was here a couple years ago and when I was here before, it, the trees themselves were probably almost like what they've just pruned off some of these now. It was probably about this thick and maybe maybe that taller, a little bit taller. And now you can see that, uh, yeah, they're looking pretty good. Getting thicker and, I mean, really tall. They're, they're like real trees now. So I found out about teak through David himself. You know, I do a bunch of cruises and cruise ships, use a lot of teak. Finding out that I could purchase some teak here and just about how it was used and how it grew and you know learning a little bit more about it kind of an interesting process and you know i like to do different things i've you know bought wind wind power in south dakota and i've bought you know nursing homes all over the united states but this is kind of a unique experience for being able to buy uh, some trees that just kind of you know you can sort of forget about them because they're just growing here every day soaking up the sun and the air and you know, obviously in the last couple of years since I've been here, they've, they've taken off and gotten a lot bigger. Just kind of a nice thing, you know, environmentally, but also the, the wood from them is valuable. So as an asset, um, they're just a good long-term thing to, to own. You feel more a part of it if you've been here and seen them and you've actually walked through all the brush and you've got to touch them. and. You know, and then coming twice now to be able to see the growth in them makes a lot of difference as well. You know, is it necessary? No, but I think it's kind of nice, you know, especially if you're a type of person who likes to travel as well. And, you know, Belize is a great stop to, to come to and then make a pit stop here to, to see your trees and how they're growing and what progress they're making. <laughs>